and no mercy. Mr. President and dear audience, it is truly said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. A couple of days before, I saw a heart-tending spectacle on a news channel. I saw a respectable Muslim lady who had turned herself with a piece of cloth and was sitting in a marketplace in front of a mosque. Only her eyes were visible, her eyes were full of tears. Neither she cried and laughed. She was surrounded by her few angel-like children. She had a piece of paper in her hand like a banner on which she had written children for sale yes mr president children for sale when i saw this heart turning spectacle i was really shocked i couldn't believe that how could it be happen i lost my tongue my body became frozen frozen with horror i felt pity pity for her and fear for myself i guessed and guessed but couldn't digest this heart turning spectacle yes mr president at last tears rolled down of my cheeks mr president tears rolled down of my cheeks. I felt myself so weak, so helpless and so hopeless. I thought to myself that I was born free. I was tied that dead and the crown of universe. I was supposed to I was supposed to rule the heaven and earth. But Mr. President, but I thought to myself that I was not free. I was in chains, some invisible chains. And it is so because Mr. President, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. My heart aches and draws in numbness pain. My sense as though of hemlock I had drunk or emptied some dull opiate to the drains. One minute passed and leather was up. Dear audience, I know that man is born free and he is here for justice. But allow me to ask, is this the justice that a six years old girl Zainab, an angel was brutally raped and mercilessly killed and was thrown in the garbage? Is this the justice that 130 innocent people were killed in a suicidal attack in Quetta? Is this the justice that hundreds of angels were killed in Peshawar APS? Or is this the justice that every year flood water of our rivers runs over the field of poor farmers and leaves the fields of the riches untouched and unsupplied? No, sir, it is not justice. Man is not born free. He is in chains, some invisible chains. Because, because, we are not in justice anywhere, is a threat to justice everywhere. Dear audience, it is said that fortune favors the brave. But where are these brave? It is said that man is the architect of his own fortune and destiny. But where is this destiny? Look at my companions. Look at my fellow cadets. Look at my look at my fellow cadets. Look at my companions. Look at my colleagues. Look at their faces. Look at their withered faces. They are worried of their future. They are afraid that they would die of hunger. Their worries have sucked their blood and left them so ghastly pale, half dead and half alive. The deadly signs of the cruel society are still visible and apparent on their faces. Because, Mr. President, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. My dear audience, we live in a society, a man-made society, where we have lack of food, low level of nutrition, gross inequalities of income, unemployment, and above all, we are the victim of a kind of social uselessness. It is said that every crowd has a silver lining, but well, Mr. President, where? Oh, lift me as a wave, a leaf, a clod. I fall upon the thorns of life, I bleed. A heavy weight of ours had jammed and bored. Because, Mr. President, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank you.